Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please feel free to go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, it really helps out. And on today's episode, we're gonna be picking back up on our final installment, part seven of our center console build. So stick around if you'd like to see how we do it. All right, so here I am uh, wet sanding it again after that uh, last coat of epoxy to fill in those divots. And then after this, I'm gonna be hitting it with some clear coat. Uh, now the clear coat's just to prevent some yellowing. You really probably should use more of like a 2K on this for the clear coat. I ended up just using an off the shelf one uh, from my local uh, big box store. So we'll, we'll see how it, uh, how it works out. All right guys, so we're gonna try and finish it off. I'm gonna wrap a little bit of uh, material into here to cover up this spot right here. Um, I'm gonna come into here, trim this up a little bit, uh, put some carpeting in here, uh, and then we will get these pieces installed and call it uh, good right here. So let's uh, get to it. All right, guys, so one thing that I noticed when I was doing this right here is I accidentally uh, snipped a little bit too much off of this corner right here. Uh, same thing with uh, this corner over here. I snipped just a little bit off of the too much off of there. So I'm gonna try and undo some of these staples and try and stretch it over. I might have to undo some of these, see if I can fix that. Uh, if not, I might just put a little piece in there to kind of patch it for right now. Um, I may wrap it later, but we'll, we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, uh, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be uh, lining the inside of this and we're gonna be covering this part up right here. Uh, I went ahead and I picked up some uh, carpet from my local uh, big box store um, here and uh, I'd say this this should look okay in here. Uh, hopefully I can cut it out uh, and have it look somewhat decent. So uh, we'll get uh, cutting and we'll see what we can do with this. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be uh, taking this silver uh, Sharpie right here and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be uh, lining up one edge right here and this edge right here uh, and I'm going to come along this back side right here and I'm going to mark underneath uh, on the back side of the carpeting uh, where I'm going to need to cut it uh, right here so that way I, ca I can uh, cut it out and make it uh, fit the lid right here. All right so we've got our line right here uh, and then uh, we're going to continue it down to here and then we're going to cut straight across. I've made a mark over here and over here and we'll just connect the lines right there. All right, guys, uh, so we got the piece uh, cut out that'll drop down into the uh, middle down here. Uh, so we can just set this on in here like so, and it sets right down in so, into the inside like so. Uh, might be a little snug, so I might trim just like a tiny bit off, like maybe the edge right here. But other than that, I mean, it fits pretty good in there, I'd say. Uh, so yeah, so we'll go on ahead, we'll uh, just trim this up just a tiny bit more, and then uh, we should be able to start working on the sides right here. All right guys, so now we're gonna be uh, trimming up the sides right here. I uh, pretty much after I got the bottom cut out, I copied that and I just trimmed this down a little bit and now it'll this will slide right on into here. I'm gonna mark the top, trim that up on both sides.
All right, guys. Uh, so we've got the uh, the carpet all cut out in here for this. Uh, next step is I'm just going to spray the back of the carpeting down with a little bit of uh, adhesive, and then I'm just going to set it in there and press it in and hold it. You know, get it uh, get it set in there. And I might trim them up a little bit here and there, but I mean for the most part, I think that that'll turn out pretty nice right here once I get it all glued in and everything. Uh, and then this piece right up here, this will go right on top of that right there. And uh, I will have to cut out a little piece uh, or a little spot for the uh, for the latch right here, so I'll have to do that as well. All right, guys. So we got our uh, carpeting done on the inside right here. Uh, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, I think it looks pretty decent right here. I moved the uh, the latch for the magnet to the outside right up here, so that way it latches no problems, and I didn't have to cut anything out on this right here. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think this is pretty much gonna do it for us, guys. All right, guys, so uh, here we have the uh, center console. Uh, you know, overall, I'd say it uh, turned out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you know, it's not perfect by any means. Uh, you know, there's a little spot down here. You can kind of see a little bit of a gap between the material and the wood right there. Um, you know, a couple other spots has that right there as well. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it though. Um, you know, I can always take the panels and raise them up. They're kind of sunken down maybe like about a quarter inch on here. Uh, so I can always raise those up a little bit and that'll kind of hide some of that right there. Uh, or I could always try rewrapping it uh, right there. But I think for right now, that's where I'm going to leave it right here. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, again, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I learned uh, how to work a little bit with some carbon fiber. Um, you know, if I were to do it again, I would probably just do a wrap uh, for the carbon fiber instead of uh, doing the actual carbon fiber. Uh, it was just a little bit time consuming uh, trying to get all that done right there. Um, but uh, you know, other than that, you know, I'm pretty again happy with how it turned out. Um, and uh, you know, down the road, if I ever want to change it up, the cool thing, you know, the whole concept about the center console is every piece is removable. So uh, if I don't like something down the road, or if I want to change it up, I can just pop every piece out, retrace them, make it out of aluminum or wood, and wrap it in something different. So. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. Um, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the video series. Thank you so much for, for sticking with me throughout the whole uh, video series right here on this center console. And uh, if you haven't already, please go on ahead and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.